Jockeys and stewards today, when despite persistent rain, there were no safety problems with the course. Champion jockey Harry White and vigorous lightweight Kevin Forrester rode doubles, and the father-son training combination of Eddie and Rob Lang led home two winners. The feature event went to the Lee Matthews-owned Glenferry Flyer, who races in the Hawthorne colours. Wide is Glenferry Flyer with a good run at the 250. Lord Scotia, Shackle Star, Glenferry Flyer in the centre of the tracks moved up quickly. Behind them, Warren, but Glenferry Flyers burst away and looked to have it won. Warren went into second placing from Noble Tinjar, but Glenferry Flyer getting tired, hangs on to win about three quarters, Warren and Noble Tinjar. Then Inchula, behind them, Shackle Star. Further back 13 to 4 favour, Glenferry Flyer. He's been a very good horse for the Hawthorne Football Club Racing Syndicate. Jack with Lee afterwards that he'd have to change to the Collingwood colours, but he's going really well at the moment. Watching race eight, the second horse, Colonial King, he almost falls with about 200 metres to run. Nothing wrong with the track. He hangs in and Noble Kit runs out at the same time. Noble Kit about a half to Colonial King at the 200. Six to General Elect, Colonial King. Oh, he nearly fell over. Ran into Noble Kit. There, four or five links in front of Hall Mac. Noble Kit's now got it one. Colonial King ran in behind him, and Noble Kit with Clark riding hard goes home a winner by two to Colonial King, five to Hall Mac. Ahead away, General Elect further back. On the what a run Michael Clark's having. I think that was 39 for the season. He should break Roy Higgins's record, and he's at this very moment in the air going to Perth to ride in Pinjara in a $100,000 race tomorrow on Military Plume. Quadrella today. On double two five six five hundred and forty two dollars thirty five, daily double on two and six just seven dollars, extra double eight and two thirteen dollars seventy. Gauchi riding Kiskin, and finally in sport, American-born Bill Palmer is the new general manager of the National Basketball. Has caused a serious fall in the second race. After that mishap, the movable rail was shifted, causing severe disruption to the program. Since then, track staff have been working to rectify the problem. At today's Sandown meeting, we requested permission to take our cameras over to the 800 metre mark, which had been the troublesome part of the track. However, after consultation with VATC officials, the stewards denied our request. After the running of the third race today, Jockeys Association President Pat Hyland gave a very guarded approval of the surface. I think it's all right. I think that um, we've got a, you know, I think they've got a long way to go with it. I don't think they're anywhere near right yet. Um, but it, 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 it's raced well up to now. I really believe they've got a track committee at the VATC, and I think that, uh, well, they should have a good look at uh, at the performance that they've put up over the last couple of years and, uh, and decide what they're going to do because. Uh, the record's not good. And what of the present state of communication between the jockeys and the VATC? I think we're a bit like Irene Bulger with the uh, <laughs> the uh, government, Peter. I think you, I think that's about the way you put it. And the daily double at Sandown, two and six, paying seven dollars even. The extra eight and two, thirteen dollars seventy. The quaddy, two, two, five and six, five hundred and forty-two dollars and thirty-five cents. And on a very wet Tuesday, Mel, that's all from the sports desk. It certainly was. And on the last little look out here, it was still raining in Melbourne. And according to Malcolm, there's more on the way.